Hello everyone, Nate at the Sick Shop here. Gonna do a comparison on the three main clutch levers out there right now that everybody's talking about. So we got the Impact Tech, we got RSC, and Hale Raceworks. Um, all three of these are the bearing pivot type, uh, the models that we're looking at right now today. And I'll get them out of the package here so we can check them out. All right, all three out of the package here. And here's a closer look at the Impact Tech. Uh, the finish is very shiny and really high-end looking. Um, stainless steel adjuster, stainless steel hardware, uh, mounts with the one-piece perch that goes over the bar and then has the perch cap on the bottom with the captive nuts. And then we got RSC. It has kind of a, a tumble aluminum finish before it's anodized. Uh, so it's kind of like a semi flat or like a satin kind of look and uh, also stainless steel hardware, uh, stainless steel adjuster, all the bolts and the threads go in to just a machine threaded hole and the perch from behind with a perch cap. Um, and we got Hale Raceworks, the new guy to the game and this one has also stainless steel, no, this one has uh, an aluminum adjuster, it's 7071 so it's a harder aluminum, um, and then stainless steel hardware, all the bolts, um, the pivot bolt is from the back side and then threaded into the perch, and perch cap from the back just like the RC, the Hale Raceworks finish looks like it's just straight off of the machine, the CNC machine. You can see the machine marks and then straight into the anodizing. It has kind of a semi-gloss look, um, not as flat as and as even as the RC and definitely not real shiny like Impact Tech. So that all three of them have kind of different characteristics of the look. Pretty unique with this one is that it has this sheath built into the perch that covers the pivot of the, the lever so you can never pinch your finger, your clothes, or I don't know, a glove or pants or anything, nothing get pinched in there and it uh, protects from dirt, water, anything getting into your cable area. Um, the back side, this one has three positions for the cable. Uh, they claim that this is similar to stock, the center one is similar to RSC, and then the bottom one is supposed to be an improved, easier pull geometry. And then RSC has two positions, which would be the similar to stock and the easy pull closer to the bar. And Impact Tech has just one, the easiest pull position. Both the RSC and the Hale Raceworks have this adjuster bolt here. If you want to adjust your lever to be set part way in or closer to the bar, uh, so when you let go it stops before going all the way out. I've never used that and I've never really seen anybody use that, but I imagine I guess if you have shorter hands that it could be handy. Uh, as far as the lever style, they're pretty similar. Looks like the perch size and the lever shape are very similar on RC and Impact Tech. And the Hail Raceworks, very similar also, about the same profile. Uh, looks like the tip of the, the Hail lever angles out a little bit further, which is to get a little bit farther lever for throw before it hits the bar, I guess. Um, so um, uh, RSC makes a perch spacer to accomplish that if you need it. Here are the three adjusters for the three clutches. This is the Impact Tech one. 
this is a, one of the original stainless steel models. The new ones are actually titanium, a little bit lighter, uh, really large holes so that the cable doesn't rub against the adjuster, or is at least less likely to. Uh, here's the RSC. Um, the cable opening for that is much smaller, which I'm told is more likely for the cable to rub against it. Um, I don't know how big of a concern that is to your cable, because it's just soft aluminum, but maybe uh, cause a little more drag and not be quite as easy as a pole. That probably depends on what position it's in. You could probably align the, the, the gap here so that the cable doesn't rub. And then the Hale Raceworks, also a very large opening, less likely to have cable drag. Uh, the, the handle, or the, the knob on this one is a lot larger than the other two. It's a lot easier to, to adjust. I guess it's made so that you can adjust it more easily while wearing gloves. Um, it's definitely a significant size difference between both of these. Um, the Impact Tech is a little bit bigger than RC's and Hale Raceworks is bigger than the other two as well. Another thing to mention with the Hale Raceworks in particular, and possibly on the others, is that the cable adjuster needs to be about halfway out to prevent cable drag because of the angle of how the cable comes through into the lever. If you have the cable adjuster in really far, uh, it may drag the cable against the adjuster. So if you adjust the other end of your cable so that this one starts not all the way in, maybe about this far out. You'll have better results. Taking them apart to see the inside, uh, the Impact Tech is held together with this flush mounted bolt with a lock nut. This bolt is a shoulder bolt with no threads against the bearing. It's custom machined to precisely the right size. And then you can see, maybe if the camera can catch it, maybe not. Let's see. So there's a needle bearing in there. You can see the little rollers. And that's what go along against this shoulder bolt. And RC, they have also a bolt with a lock nut. That's a shoulder bolt. It has a smooth bolt against the, a uh, sealed ball bearing, kind of like a skateboard bearing. It's two of them, one pressed in from each side. And then Hale Raceworks, they have a bolt from the back side. It's locked tight it in. It actually bolts in directly into the perch. And it's also a shoulder bolt. And they also have a sealed ball bearing, like a skateboard wheel. the inside of all three of these. All back together here. Um, all three are very easy. Uh, they all move extremely easily with no effort whatsoever. Um, if I were to point out advantages, I would say that on the Hale Raceworks I like the larger knob and lock nut. And it's kind of cool that section is covered. On the RC it's a, a proven design, the original, nothing really bad you can say about it. Um, it's been around a long time and works extremely well, really nice uh, even finish on the, the anodizing and just a good lever all the way around. Uh, for the impact tech, and hail, I would say, have an advantage with the larger hole on the 
adjuster so that the cable's less likely to drag. Um, the perch, I would say that I like the, the size of the impact tech. Uh, being smaller, a little bit easier to fit next to like a handbrake. The bolt for the line on the handbrake. Um, these two are pretty much identical, so it's not really an advantage between those at all. Um, all three great choices. They're all going to be an easier pull. Um, price is pretty similar. Um, Hail Race works at 125, RSC at 120, and Impact Tech at 137. It's up to you which one you think you like better, and we carry all three. So check them out at thesickshop.com.